All righty, well, here's the new brown and sharp. How do you like the old truck transmission up here? A buddy of mine says he thinks that's from the 30s. So this, this electric motor conversion must have happened quite a while ago. Well, let's see. Got a one-inch arbor here. Here's the table. This one here is a universal head. So that's nice. Fortunately, we got some uh, broken hand wheels. That one's actually epoxy all back together, but I think we can get that fixed up. Let's have a look in the toolbox here. A couple little odds and ends. I'm not even sure exactly what this is. It looks like it goes onto the overarm, but uh, who knows exactly. Knob, nah, which I'm not exactly sure if it actually goes with this or not. I don't think it does. Got a few of the spacers here, shim type ones, really thin. I got a 5 16 cutter, came with it. Well, it's a little dirty, but I think that'll probably do okay. And then I got this here. <laughs> Almost looks like a weight, but uh, I don't know, I'm not sure. Anyway, if anybody knows what any of that stuff is, please let me know. What else we got on here? Now yeah, we'll come around here. There's the motor. And that is definitely an oldie. This one here. I've seen some other ones like this. This is a bag gear. Take it out, I guess. But uh, the only other ones I've seen, the bag gear is, I think, inside the main casting here. Excuse me. I'll watch where I'm filming. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I've cleaned it up a little bit, but she's got a lot of work still yet to go. Oh yeah, here's another little fun point of interest. This, this here is the lubricates the cut, right? But I guess this is an old Fram oil filter. So they were uh, doing all kinds of odd things back in those days. But anyway. See you guys around.